I think sailing is the best way to, to get around. You use the boat as, as a hotel, while at the same time you can move around and see a lot of different islands in one day. I like to pull the sails up and just let the wind take you around to, to different places. It takes a bit more time, but uh, it, it's an experience. Located off of Salt Island, we have the Wreck of the Rhone. Sank in 1867 during a hurricane. You can see the mast, which is still attached. You can see the bow sprit. The signal cannon is still on the ship. It's still there, and you can swim by that, uh, which is pretty neat to see. Uh, and it really gives you a perspective of the people that were on that ship in 1867 when you can swim down the hallways inside the ship as well. While snorkeling, I heard a song, like a whistling song. So I held my head up out of the water. And when I look, ahead of me, I see these two big whales side by side, just cruising, coming up. And but that's the memories that I'll always have being in the DVI. For me, diving is as close as a human can get to flight. Uh, we're weightless when we're properly weighted and trimmed out underwater, so we're able to swim up, down, left, right. Uh, it's truly a three-dimensional sport. The fact that I can hover, I can stop and look at different things, and I can enjoy an eagle ray swimming around me, uh, and you just can't, there's nothing like it on earth that you can do on land. So if I was to leave the BVI and go back home, the memories that I will take with me is the slapping of the water in a dinghy and the slapping of the water on the boat stone. So you'll hear that sound in your ear all the time until it reminds you of, you know, the islands. <laughs>